Um, if you were to be talking to someone that's out shopping for a, a club that kind of meets this criteria, um, what would be the thing that you would want them to consider most? Uh, so, biggest thing I, I would say is the brotherhood, because from what I have gotten from this club is that we will take care of our own at the drop of a hat. So, uh, for example, a couple of years ago, uh, I was riding down to Louisiana uh, for a St. Patrick's Day party. Okay. I like how he just casually yeah. says that. Oh, I was just riding, riding down to Louisiana. Louisiana. No oh, big deal. Yeah. Hung a left and <laughs> so, headed across the country. Yeah, so me and two other guys, we ended up going down south because we're like, hey, we want to try and get to where it's warmer. And unfortunately, timing, we uh, ended up being getting behind the cold front. And uh, I don't know if you've ever ridden through New Mexico, Albuquerque area. Oh, yeah. So just east of Albuquerque, it goes up through a mountain pass and good elevation gain. Um, well, on that pass, uh, I don't know if you've ever ridden by Braille. So, um, <laughs> Once. Monarch so, pass. No, you know you're... In on the road, when you hit the right rumble strips, yeah. then you go to the left. Then when you hit the left ones, you go back to the right. Yeah. So you know you're on the roadway. Uh, it was that bad of a blizzard. Oh. Um, I was actually up on my seat, on my knee, like I was riding a snowmobile, trying to see over oh. the headlight. Because it seriously, it looked like Star Wars coming at me. With you were in the power light, light, light speed. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we were riding, and we ended up pulling off of some random exit and to wipe off our headlights kind of assess everything and then jump back on the road because we were actually trying for an iron butt that day and we had like we were at 973 miles oh man tired and uh right behind us pulled in a new mexico state trooper and uh that officer was like hey first thing you guys are nuts <laughs> <laughs> i like your style You're yeah nuts. and then been following your tire march in the yeah. last 10 miles <laughs> yeah. so, and then he's like he said he was following us and waiting for us to crash so that he could call out the accident and help us but uh he ended up saying unfortunately we are shutting down the the interstate we don't have the infrastructure to deal with this and we have to shut it down and so you guys can't get back onto the roadway and we're like well, shit, we are in the middle of nowhere. There's one hotel that we can see. And so we go over there, and since they had shut it down, all the rooms were booked. Actually, the guy right in front of us, and this guy was an asshole. Got the last room. Yeah. So he sees three of us in leathers and full winter gear. Soaking. Pull in on our motorcycles. We walk in right behind him, and he gets the last room that was available. And... He turns around and says, oh, there's a hotel like 10 minutes up the street. You guys can just drive up there. And we're like, like just, just so, drive up there. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're, you showed up in a car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so we were kind of stranded, but I called, up, called the other place. So we didn't just drive down there and they were booked, fully booked. So I was like, okay, I have a phone number to the regional captain down here. I called the regional captain. I said, hey, do you have any brothers near here? It's 11.30 at night. Any brothers near here that we can just crash at their place for the night we will be gone at 5 a.m. so that we can get on our way. And he's like, wait, where are you? You are 10 minutes from my house. I'll be right there. And he drove down. We followed him back to his house. And his wife made us coffee and had beer out. And they pulled out blankets. And we slept on couches and one mattress. And oh my yeah, God. so... Wow. I, had, I had never met this brother before. Wow. So that is the type of brotherhood there is. And there are stories like this worldwide with the Punishers is I need help or I, I see it all the time. Uh, people are throwing it out there. Hey, my kid is uh, having issues. They need help. And people will drop anything and go help out their brothers or their, their brother's family members. And that's really what, what it is. And one thing I, it's reoccurring is whenever someone does something for someone else, like when I, I thanked him for bringing us three into his home, 
unexpected last minute and all he said was it's what we do hmm. It, hmm. we take care of a- anyone we can and wow. especially brothers and it, it's what we do is is thrown out there all the time it's we take care of our own and take care of others and try and help where we can that's awesome so, yeah hmm. That is powerful stuff right there. Um, a nation, national, 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 national yeah. family. Um, worldwide family. Worldwide family, but that national, I mean, I'm not, I can't see myself riding Spain. I'm, I don't see that in my future, but cutting down to Louisiana, that's, that's actually in the scope of reality. That's, oh, we're that's going, comforting. We're going, where are we going in May? Was about to say Germany, but that's Arkansas. Germany. Are you talking about the national? <laughs> in May? Yeah, hey, remember we're going to Germany. That's yeah, Arkansas. <laughs> France. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it, our 25th year anniversary is coming up for the club. So our European chapters are hosting are hosting an event in May. Oh, wow. Um, there's going to be thousands of Punishers there for this. In uh, France. In France. So they're meeting up in Paris. Awesome. And then they are riding up to Belgium. Uh, for a big party. Wow. So. What they do, like, don't get me wrong. I love what we do here in the States. Over in Europe, and I've, you know, you see it on our Facebook all the time. They bring countries together like we bring states together. I mean, it's about the same <laughs> distance. <laughs> <laughs> now, that is very, that's very true. That's very true. Well, we, um, we only have two countries that we can bring into ours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's cool. Like, you'll see the posts, and you'll see, you know, there's France and Belgium and Italy, and there's still, you see all the different country rockers, and it's impressive. That is impressive. 